do our loved ones still watch over us after they're gone? Well, I would like to think so. In fact, I do believe it's entirely possible because I've experienced things that, well, they could be written off as a mere coincidence, but knowing her, I'm beginning to doubt, the, well, I've doubted the coincidence all along, actually, knowing the state of mind that I come from and the state of connection and spirituality that I experience. I think one of the first signs I noticed was I have an African violet and I've had this thing for years and it blooms maybe two flowers a year. Two weeks after Crystal passed away, I held a memorial service for her on the beach because her family could not afford a funeral and I thought it would be, it's important for us to be able to say goodbye. And it was as I was walking out the door to perform this memorial service that I prepared that I noticed the African violet had bloomed over a dozen flowers. Crystal always wanted me to have flowers. She bought them for me a few times. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And I took it as a sign. Um, another occurrence was uh, the cat. I promised her if anything happened that I would take care of the cat. He was such a wonderful, beautiful animal. One of the friendliest cats I've ever known. Unfortunately, he wound up getting sick. He had cancer. And I had to put him down at the end of May this year, 2018. And um, I have a my car has a check engine light on. I'm an automotive technician. It's been on for months. I diagnosed it. I know what it is. It's an oxygen sensor. It's no good. I haven't had time to replace it. So the light was on the whole time I was driving to put the cat down. I came out. I had the cat in the box. and I put him on the passenger seat and I got in. I said, well, check engine light went out. I just so happened that I needed a state inspection. Those things don't fix themselves on their own. And I went the next day, I got my inspection done. And I, uh, three days later, the light came back on. The light's been coming on and off since, which is unusual. Usually something like that, it stays on until you fix the problem. Knowing the promise that I made to her and how well I took care of the cat, I can only guess that that might have been both of them other things that have happened. I never win my, I never win anything in my life. I've entered random draw, random drawings before and I do not win. And um, a few months ago I entered one and um, it was with the physical therapy um, outfit uh, business. And um, I um, I won. The odd thing is, not only do I never win, but the Fitbit, she was always buying me things. And this is something she would have wanted me to have. And since having it, oddly enough, I made a few minor changes to my diet and exercise, and I've lost five of the ten pounds that I wanted to lose. <laughs> we were both into staying active and, and um, trying to lose weight and stay fit. And... I had actually enrolled this in the gym when she was when she was alive. So this this is a sign that this is something she would have wanted me to have. And I'm wondering if somehow her energy somehow mixed in there and caused my name that piece of paper to pop up right when they were going to pull it. I don't know. Uh, the the spinal one is more recent. A few months ago, I was uh, customers they give me tip money. I don't, I try to stay away from buying soda, but the temptation's there when I have cash. So I bought myself a soda off the coffee truck, a bottle of Coke, and they have the names on them. And uh, the bottle I picked up, Selena, Crystal's sister. Now, Crystal <laughs> was always jealous of her sister. She was always worried that 
her sister was going to take me away from her and she, well she worried that I would cheat on her and all sorts of things never happened of course but so I picked up this coke share a coke with Selena yeah, crystal sister fine whatever so I drank the coke next day I have more tip money let me go on the truck get another one another coke and the bottles they're all um he has them all packed in ice I can't even see what they are so I grabbed the top of one figuring it's a coke I get up oh cherry coke well I like cherry coke even better so I pay I get in there I crack open I start to drink it and <laughs> lo and behold name on the bottle really next day first sister's name second day crystal her name and she knew I liked cherry coke better than coke. Her way of saying, I'll always be better than my sister. <laughs> that I would choose her all the time. And it's, it's the honest truth. But the funny thing happened is, this happened maybe over a month ago, just yesterday. And that's what this bottle is from. I have two of these now. Just yesterday, I had the same thing. I grabbed a, grabbed a random bottle of cherry coke cracked it open, noticed the name after I cracked it open and started drinking, and I was like, oh my god, twice? Yeah, so these these synchronicities, they, they show up if you're aware of them, if you're in tune to them, and uh, they, most people would, most ordinary people would write them off as a mere coincidence, but that's not the way I see it. She's still out there. She's still looking over me. Some people would be creeped out, but I loved her and I knew how she felt about me. I know how she still does. And I'm thrilled that she's still out there and she's watching over me. It gives me hope that there is an afterlife for our souls after this. This isn't the end. I think maybe that's what she's trying to tell me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see her again. So that's that's my story. That's how I feel about seeing these signs. Don't don't write them off as mere coincidence because there's a good chance they're probably not. <laughs>